Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse news video. We got some very fancy press photos to discuss. Briefly touched on this subject matter in my last McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse vid, but in case you were left out in the Gotham cold, yes, they are making figures based upon Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Trilogy. Four figures with a collect-a-build figure as well. And before we get started, if you're interested in anything that you see during this video, I will put affiliate links down in the description below. Rest assured, they're supposed to go up in and around February 16th, hopefully early morning. You know how that kind of goes. But just keep checking back if they're not available just yet. Hey, thanks for using my links. They'll help my channel to grow. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. We'll do a countdown to Bane with figure number four in the wave. Dr. Jonathan Crane, the Scarecrow from Batman Begins. And he looks pretty good, I have to say. In fact, I think, we'll just get this right out of the way. I think all four, including, well, kind of what we've seen with Bane, looks pretty good. I will say, the mask on Scarecrow looks a little bit different than what I'm used to. He's got the noose, he's got the cut-up straight jacket from Arkham Asylum, and then he has the more suited body. So it totally looks cool. He's got a nice wash on him. Looks very dirty, very burlap sacky, right? That looks pretty good, I have to say. Overall, I think it's a pretty solid rendition of Batman Begins Scarecrow. Now, here's everything that Scarecrow comes with. A couple extra hands. He's got the arms of Bane. Of course, he's got the trading card black stand. Yada, yada. But again, I think this is a nice way to kick off the Dark Knight trilogy, right? And of course, here he is. All packaged up, ready to go. This will set you back 25 bucks. Of course, all the collected build figures are 25 bucks, so that hasn't changed. But again, if you like Scarecrow, I'll put links down in the description below. Next up, we have Harvey Dent, or at least what is left of him after uh, flipping that old coin and landing on that, well, messed up head of his. So we have Two Face. And if you take notice, he's got the burned up coat. He's got some red all over one side. He's holding the coin. That's nice to see. I think the head portrait works. I wouldn't say that that's Aaron Eckhart it, loosely. You know what I mean? I think they did a better job with the Two-Face half. But uh, overall, I think it's a pretty, again, solid looking Two-Face. I don't go too much into the movie stuff. You look at it like, okay... I think this is a good rendition through and through. I like that he's holding the coin. I would have liked if he came with an extra hand so he's not holding the quarter. Or maybe a couple extra hands so it looks like he's kind of flipping it and do all that crazy stuff. That would have been a nice touch. But of course, it is not to be. Here's everything that Two-Face comes with. The major torso of Bane. You got the trading card. You got the black stand. And here he is all packaged up. Last question I'll ask you. Do you still believe in Harvey Dent? Well, if you do, I'll put the affiliate link down in the description Below, next up, is the Joker, Heath Ledger. Tragic, right? Remember that way back when? But, gotta say, a really nice rendition of Heath Ledger's Joker. I think he came out pretty well in the whole plastic scenario you got going on. You got the purple coat, you got the green, everything looks handmade, right? That looks uh, in character. Nothing in his pockets but knives and lint, I'm sure. But uh, he only has... One set of hands, no guns, nothing like that. So you might want to uh, stock up maybe on the McFarlane Ammunitions Pack or maybe go the Valiverse, right? They got some great weapons as well. Anything to really equip these types of characters because well, Warner's not going to let them, right? You get the big stack, big pile of cash, right? No fire to throw on there. And initially, I'm going to be honest with you, when I first saw the promo image, I was like, oh, look, it comes with a bunch of extra hands. No, those are all the hands for Bane and the head of Bane. So, yeah, it doesn't look too shabby. At least we're getting uh, the works with Bane. But I feel like the stack of cash is cool, right? But uh, maybe some playing cards to throw. Maybe a hand-holding playing card. You know, something just a little bit more would have been cool just to kind of give that oomph to the old Heath Ledger Joker. And, of course, with all these villains... Well, we definitely need a Batman to fight them. The Christian Bale Batman from the entire Dark Knight trilogy. And I gotta say again, he's pretty solid. Now, this one looks to be, what, movie two, movie three, I would say for the costume because he can turn his head, right? Lucius Fox hadn't gotten into that technology 
just yet. And I kind of do prefer this bat suit. I think it looks pretty good. The cape's cool. It's a side profile, I would say. All the armored plating, everything else. And like I always say, pictures can only do so much justice. You have to really wait until these are in your hands to really make a good judgment call. And here's everything Batman comes with. An arsenal of batarangs. He's got the gas gun. He's got some Bane gams. It's pretty, pretty solid. Pretty good looking figure. Here he is all packaged up, ready to take on Bane. The big old collect to build figure. Well, not so many photos of Bane just yet as of this video. However, we do have the initial promo photo. So we do know that he comes with a bevy of extra hands. So that's always good to see. No weapons, nothing like that. Perhaps he just has the darkness put away. That'll be his, uh, his main accessory, right? Wink, wink. But he looks pretty good. Again, cool rendition for the Tom Hardy Bane. I think all four characters look pretty solid. But as always, wait till you have them in hand to make a final judgment call. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Dark Knight Trilogy Bane Collect-A-Build Wave featuring Joker, Scarecrow, Two-Face, and Batman. And of course, in case you didn't hear me the first time, or maybe you're kind of clicking around this video, if you need any of these figures, affiliate links down in the description below. So you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the Dark Knight Trilogy. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I got to give it to McFarlane on this one. This one's a pretty solid, cohesive wave. It's really nice to see. Just throw in a few more hands next time. We'll call it even. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.